Hello everyone and welcome to a new edition of Inside Leatherneck Athletic Show. I'm your host, Mitchell Winkleman, and alongside me is Western Illinois softball head coach, Holly Van Vlyman. Coach, thanks for stopping by today. Thank you for having me. <clears throat> uh, currently, you're second in the Summit League Conference, 13-5, and five, one game behind North Dakota State in the loss column. You had that big series when you went there about a month ago and took two or three. Um, how do you feel about the season thus far and what are your expectations for the remainder of the season? I've been happy with our season so far. You know, we started off a little rough, but since then in conference play, we've really come through and, and gotten the job done. You know, our goal from the very beginning was to take two out of three of every series, you know, make it to the conference tournament, and our girls have really done that and done a nice job. So I, I'm really happy with where we're at right now, and we're just going to continue to, to play better into the tournament. It started out 5-12, mm -hmm. and 12 and you had a big winning streak of, I believe, 11 games. And How did you get out of that 5-12 and 12 funk and really start winning? Well, the beginning of the season, it's a little tough because we had a young team. Mm -hmm. If you looked at our infield and even our outfield, we had you know two or three um, you know upperclassmen that were there. So we had a bunch of youngsters that were learning how to work well together, and so we just kind of had to battle through some of the growing pains a little bit. And then you know once we got into the conference season, that's typically when we find our starting lineup and what's going to work for us, and and that's what happened, and we just ran with it from there. So, All right, talk about Sammy Marshall, one of the mm -hmm. best freshman softball players I've ever seen. 45-45 uh, stolen bases, 420 average. She went down a few weeks ago with an ankle injury. Mm -hmm. um, how do you think your team has been doing, you know, going on without her, and how do you think it will be in the long run? Um, I think our team is good. You, you know, I mean, it's it's always tough to lose a key player, but um, you know, our team's going to step up. We just have a different look without having Sammy in the lineup. You know, and it's going to be like the beginning of the season where we have a little bit of a growing pain, you know, process. I guess you could say getting used to people in other positions right now. Um, but every day we're getting better and every series we're getting better. So, you know, we'll be fine and, and the girls are resilient and Sammy's still there. She's a huge part of our team in the dugout, helping everybody make sure that they're on track, keeping the team going in the right direction. So we'll be fine. It's just, you know, getting through these little growing pains. Uh, how do you think Haley Bigford's been doing in the leadoff position filling in for Sammy Marshall? You know, she's no Sammy Marshall, 45-45 uh, stolen bases. That's pretty insane, but right. I believe she's been doing pretty well. Yeah, Haley's done a great job and we put her there because she just kind of has the, you know, I don't care attitude. She can go up there and, and hit, look at pitches, drive the ball. You know, Sammy would hit a single and then steal second. Well, Haley can come up and hit a double and start off on second and she's got pretty good speed. I mean, she's not going to steal 45 bases for us, but she's still doing a nice job. Uh, who's your most improved player of the season so far? You know, I think the two that stick out in my mind are Emma uh, Jarrell and Brianna Williams. I, and they've done such a nice job from last year to this year in all respects of the game out, you know, like Brianna in the outfield, Emma at second, and at the plate. They've both really stepped up and done a nice job for us. So I look to continue to see good things from them. Uh, Coach, what's one thing a lot of people, a lot of fans don't know about this team, you know, whether it's on the field or off the field that make them real great? They're just, they're a great group of kids. They like each other. They have fun. They love to sing and dance. I don't know, like, I don't know if you guys see that on the field at all, but they just like to have fun together and they, and they truly like each other and have that bond. So they're just, I don't know, they're just a crazy group that have a lot of fun together. Uh, this weekend, you guys travel to South Dakota. They're 99 conference. They're right in the middle of the pack. Mm -hmm. um, it'd be, you need to take about two or three to keep remaining at that second seed or win three of three to get the number one seed. How important is it this series and what do you have planned for this weekend in South Dakota? Well, every series is important. You know, we're just going to go out there and of course we want to, you know, sweep every series that we can, but the goal is still to win two out of three and continue along those goals that we had set early on. So we're really not going to change too much, you know, like with what we've been doing lately. We kind of, I think it's good for the girls when we have a set plan and we do that and we just continue so they know what's going on. So we're just going to continue to go out there and play our game. Is there going to be any changes, whether it's, um, you know, Kelsey McElhinney's been out there a lot, and then Haley Bigford. Um, we've seen a lot of Brianna Williams laying mm -hmm. the bunt down. She's also, right now, she's probably the number one fastest player on that team. Uh, do we see any sign of her leading off in the future? I don't know. That's something that we've talked about as a staff, and we're going to continue to have those conversations. You know, we just wanted to give the girls some time with that one lineup that we had come up with to see how that was doing. But it's something that we've been talking about, maybe switching some things up. But, um, you know, K-Mick will definitely be continue. The pitching rotation really won't change a whole lot because that's mm -hmm. what's been working for us. But the lineup, we might see a couple of adjustments in the next couple of weeks. All right, Coach. Well, good luck this weekend. Good luck uh, next weekend against UMKC. Definitely like to take at least four of those last six Absolutely. would be nice. <laughs> but uh, thank you for tuning in to today's show. We'll see you next time for a new profile. So long, everyone, and take care.